We need the title screen. <laughs> Prince of Persia. Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. I like how he's like standing. Like he's gonna go in that direction. I'm going over there. I would like to... Okay, main quest. Side quest. Character. Gift from Anahita. Yeah, so she trained him. I thought she was one of the seven immortals. But they were all there. Oh, there's a bunch of faces. I did not see a map. I see a quest log. It's probably one of the L or R buttons. Did anybody play the old Prince of Persia game? Like the one on the old Mac computers? This already looks like it. They were hard as shit. But when this game was announced, everyone was pissing and moaning that they went with this weird art style. Why isn't it like the first game? This is stupid. They thought the first game was Sands of Time when Sands of Time on PlayStation 2 was itself a reboot of the old, like, 1992 side-scroller kind of ones. And it, 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 it was it was like this really painstakingly animated. It was like hand drawn frames. It was like rotoscoped almost. And they had like he would like run, and then his weight would shift when you turned around. And it, you know what it was, Dash? It was a lot like um, the levels, the um, fucking Abe's Odyssey, where uh, you would run from the like the like. Grogmites or the Fligadugans and the, the, the shits. But, like, he would, he, he would, like, he, he would have running animations and he had, like, stumbling and then you had to, like, do a 180 turn and then grab the ledge. And it was, a, it was a lot of climbing and precise jumping and, yeah, that's what I said. The, the, the Flugadorbs. <laughs> and it was just this really kind of amazing feat of, kind of animation and, and gaming like back way back then to have such precise animations for everything and this game is a tribute to that not the shitty 3d prince of persia game been here before no but i've read about it this place was once the site of king darius's palace religion medicine astrology geometry algebra all knowledge algebra. was gathered here accessible to all Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? Look at that sword. Is that good to be, like, just resting the tip of your blade on the ground like that? I feel like... I feel like you shouldn't do that. Who knows what might await us? That's obviously a combat kind of thing. Yeah, double jump or something. No one has said algebra with much urgency other than perhaps someone in grades. Yeah, I know. That's, that's kind of what I was feeling. I'm like, buddy, but it's just, it's just fake math. It's just letters math. Can you wall jump onto another wall jump? Uh, I don't think so. It, it auto, I'll even hold, in, I'll hold right and he'll go left. So I think they thought it. So, well, okay. To answer your question, you can, but you sacrifice a lot of height. Oh, 
Oh wow, that has a projectile. What is this sorcery? I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Frozen, but also moving. It's as if the sands of time have. been wielded. Okay, new location discovered. Do you think I'll find like a merchant? A, a cloth salesman? With a, with a map on it? All right, Casey, it was good seeing you. Oh, so you can do one, two, and then he'll turn around. Wait, if I'm standing still. Is it after the combo? So it matters what direction this goes in, too. The secret button turns you into Jake Gyllenhaal. Yup. Oh, really? It's like just... Okay, see? But little shit like this... That really shows that... Like, they want you to know it's there. The level design is so precisely thought out. That's a good sign. But yeah, see how he has like these stumbling animations and like if I do one and then he has to shift his weight. That was the original Prince of Persia. Like book like NES era video games. So it's really cool. Stay I'll, I'll sharp. pull it Princess up. Anne can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, man Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> ah, let's go then. When I have free free range. Nineteen eighty nine. I was gonna s I was gonna guess eighty nine, but that seemed too early even. Baron, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Are they going to be reanimated? Judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. In Phantom Time. You had to, like, suck the sand juice out of the body. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We're stuck now. We will find the prince in Anahita. <laughs> we go east. We don't go anywhere. Regime. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Damn, bitch. Okay. This is really interesting that they would bother to have seven characters. Like, that's gonna add a lot of interaction. Yeah. The sand, like, gives them life. I don't really know a ton about the sands of time, because I hated that. I thought it was boring and shit. But yeah, so here's 1989. Oh, it was Broder Bunge. That's right. They made Zumbinis. 
So she's like, oh no, will someone save me from the tower or whatever? And see, they've got these. Okay, so. Did he. Yeah, see, he falls. They're, they have like all of these. Yeah, see how he like, there's weight to how he. There's like a standing jump and a running jump. And see, he, he did the turnaround thing, like. I think it is Rotoed, yeah. This game was pretty punishing too, like. It, it had like fail states, I'm pretty sure. Like you, you couldn't, yeah, see, he had to walk to the edge. Kind of like Tomb Raider. I know, it really is. Yeah, and then you could lower yourself rather than fall because that would kill you. And I think there were like sword stances also. There, there was like running with the sword versus like you could like, like uh, what's what's the word propose or whatever like the, it it mattered and see like i'm pretty sure those platforms will never come back this game was pretty punishing so yeah uh abe's odyssey i'm sure you can see the the comparison there It's a lot of this. It's pretty fun, but it, like I said, I'm pretty sure if you die, like, you're just, you're stuck. I don't know what that is. If there's, like, a, if there's a, a, a multiple. Yeah, see, you have to very precisely lower, like, th this. These puzzles were hard. Yeah, see, that's that's one sword position versus, like, wildly swinging. And I think there's, like, high and low or something. It was really deep for what it was. Oh, Another World. That was on Nintendo, right? The NES with the, like, zappy gun. Where you had to, like, play it perfectly or else... But yes, the first trailer for um, The Lost Crown, which I'm playing, came out. And people who know what the fuck they're talking about were saying, Oh, wow, this is cool. This really reminds me of the, the original Prince of Persia. That's kind of cool that they're going back to that. And everyone's like, Oh, what are you talking about? This is nothing like Prince of Persia. It's stupid. Uh, <laughs> like, are, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Apparently the brother rotoed his brother doing the movements. Oh, cool. For another world or this? Ah. Yeah, so you have to parry it, I guess. Where does he put the sword in this? For this. Oh, cool. But yes, all the precise placement of the character. Yeah, puzzles like these. Dropping versus jumping. Yeah, see, you have to... <laughs> God, I remember doing shit like this. I never beat this. But anyway, yeah, you get the... It helps you see what a... What a good um, inspiration uh, it was. Another world. Yeah, let me let me see that with my with my eyes. If if it's the the game. 
Yeah. Okay. This is exactly the one I was thinking. There's like a bear creature that you have to like get around at the beginning. You've, you've only got like three bullets in your gun or something and... And if you do it wrong, there's something stupid, right? Like, you, you, you have to, if you use the item. Actually, let me see here. I, I watched a video on it once. It's like, oh, it's super hard because you think you can just, like, pick up ammo, but, like, you can't. Let's see. Prince of Persia. This isn't Sands of Time. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no, okay, yeah. Let's see. Wanted to see the. Ride the platform down to the bottom, then use four. I just wanted to see a fight. could undo your mistake it was kind of cool the whole thing was told through the perspective of um someone telling a story so if you died he'd be like wait no that didn't happen but you can see the graphical leap here when this this was the 1989 version and then they did this cool like parkour I remember the commercials for this. They did this wall run thing here. It was like, whoa! <laughs> Cheaty sees the time knife. The game was fun for what it was, but the problem was anytime there was a puzzle, you entered a room and then he just sort of like went to his mind palace and the game like showed you the solution to the puzzle. It was like really fucking annoying. Where's the fights? There's like these zombie dudes that are like possessed by sand. Let me see here. It's when he first enters a room. Is it this? Oh yeah, he's got like his little friend. But yeah, see, you gotta, like, pull these levers and make the switches go and all this stuff. And it's really fun. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, then you gotta soak up the sand. I'm just trying to... God damn it, how long is this puzzle? Shit. I thought it would be, like, right at the... Well, I mean, whatever, you get the idea. Okay, so then... Yeah, see, he's got to stab him with the, like, the time knife. Otherwise, the battle doesn't actually... See ya, see ya, see ya! Ain't nothing. He doesn't even get a butter. This is a 4K thing. Also, you said be right back. You're probably not even here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, see, here we go. Here's one. I'll cue this up. I'll correct. I'll correct Dash when he comes back. Ooh. I get time shards. What? Okay. Mr. 
current, restore health. Xerxes, old currency. Appears to still be in use in the depths of the Citadel. Damascus ingot. Remember with pale bluish tint. Okay, so it's a weapon thing. Oh, it is time shards. <laughs> I was kidding. Okay, so wait. This is crazy. Oh, it's just, you can jump down.
bird of knowledge. Oh, okay. Samuric holds the key to all truth. He's the guardian of time and destiny. That's why the queen was saying he was on my shoulder. Infinite power resides in his feathers. His protective flight brings peace and prosperity to Persia. Those lucky enough to be touched by his shadow are forever protected from the forces of evil, and misfortune will befall anyone who tries to harm him. But the poets sing of his exploits, but philosophers meditate on his teachings, but warriors gain his wisdom. Wow, okay. Still have no map. Smurg is justice and the measure of all things. From the plains of Fars to the Nile Valley, the protective shadow of its majestic flight tempers the warmth lavished by Mithra. What is Mithra? The ears of wheat, barley, Egepolis, Ajalux, and Einkorn turn ripe without dying out. The harvest are prosperous and feed the people. As long as wings grace the Persian sky, happiness is already with What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. 
I know the Citadel better than anyone. Map. Be right back. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature, and I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. Wack Wack. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many Wack Wack trees throughout Mount Car. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... a general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. Here, for you. <laughs> Go on, try it. Whoa. I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Calf. Mount Calf is full of unreachable passages and treasures. If you can access, you found new abilities. So that's just a marker by itself? Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon, 
I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Car. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can. But I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Car. That is cool as shit.
okay. So this was the only way I could get... Sargon, up, up here! here. The depths. This seems oh god. We'll come back. This is like a whole thing. Take the prince to the Simor Gate. Anahita! Don't you dare harm him! If you want Prince Hassan back, come and get him! Anahita! That's why I'm here! Anahita was here. She's taking Hassan to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. What is it? I'm not sure, but to get to Hassan and Anahita, we must destroy it. From this distance? That's not possible for either of us. Maybe Men Elias can help here. Varum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try to find him. I'll look for another way. Main quest. Find him in 
the forest to the east. Okay. I heard her humming. Is it up there? How do I... The Haven. Looks like a tree. What the hell? Is this not... Brings you here, traveler. My allies and I are in pursuit of a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here too. Mount Calf has seen its share of travelers. 
Many are lost within the web of time's curse. Beware, warrior. De I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Here, have Take free stuff. This. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious and can only be changed as a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. So increase max health, the additional health which can only be regenerated. Oh, okay. Welcome. Welcome. What? What is this? Petal from the Soma Tree's mythical flower of immortality. Okay, so it's got to be a health upgrade. Welcome. These amulets are very old. There are magi in Persepolis. But Those in Mount Calf possess more unique abilities. The longer Mount Calf remains imprisoned within this time paradox, the more we'll all forget our knowledge and. Who is that? The Haven. Oh, nice. Artaban. Sargon. Varum saw Anahita's guards, and he's in pursuit. As for me, I cannot continue. Time flows differently here. My mind is playing tricks on me. I can't discern the truth from the imaginary. Artaban, thank you for being honest with me. Does this mean you're retreating? I'm not giving in just yet. I, after all, if Anahita really has changed loyalties, I believe you're short of a sparring partner. Challenges, free training. They both have exclamation points.
Confirm basic attacks and oh, and you get rewarded. Let's warm up and review the basics. The basics again. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Get in position. Show me. you can redirect your next attack. Since you propel your opponent away with your last strike, that's the end of the chain. At close range, the sweep is good against smaller foes. You can also chain attacks afterwards. Sweep. Oh, I didn't know that was a chain. enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet make use of that perfect to cripple agile enemies remember that you move forward with each attack if you want to keep your distance the sweep allows you to maintain your position this is very intense This doesn't suit your style, but some situations might require you to take such precautions. Precaution? Hmm. My point exactly. Do you remember what I told you about propelling enemies up in the air? An airborne enemy cannot retaliate. <laughs> Let's go over your upward. Use them to hit targets above you. A word of warning. Using the same upward attack twice in a row will lessen its effectiveness. You can also use an upward attack in a fighting combination. Be sure you're within range to strike. <laughs> Following through with your attacks lets you stay in the action. Remember, rush about. Even a constant wind can carve a mountain. Now then, the forward slide. Closing the distance, that suits me. Now let's combine everything. Chase the enemy mid-air after your upward attack. Vary your upward attacks. The same one twice in a row will not give you the same propulsion. I understand.
burping. Now for a specialty of yours. Acrobatic techniques. Ready for the next lesson? I'm always ready. You know about mid-air combinations, but there are other options. <laughs> Easy enough. You cannot chain attacks after this move, but it should... Alternatively, you can aim at enemies directly below you. Now that's a new way to lift up the enemy. You can send the enemy up even higher with aerial combinations rather than sending them far away. This technique is valuable. You can save on time or throw your foe towards environmental hazards. Should you see a use for it, you can also send them crashing in. That's what I was wondering. About. 